Hello everyone and welcome to the chapter number 7 of Blender Master Course series Editing Tools in Blender. If you are new to this course then do check out the previous 7 chapters from the link of the playlist given in the pinned comment. So the first tool that we will use today is the extrude tool. For this we will go to the edit mode of this cube and to enable the extrude tool press on this extrude region icon and now this yellow gizmo appears which is normal or perpendicular to the face of this cube. So first I will go to the face select mode and select the upper face. Now if I left click and drag this gizmo or the manipulator, we will notice that it duplicates the face and moves it along the normal axis. If I release the left mouse button, it finalizes it. But these edges still remain here and thus stay connected to the extruded face. And we can also left click and move around the viewport to move the extrusion along the viewing plane. Also you can do this with vertices and edges and also with multiple faces together. And the shortcut to enable extrusion is to press E key in your keyboard and the face will extrude along the normal and left click to finalize it. Now let's return to the object mode and press X to delete it. Now I'll add another cube here and we'll enter the edit mode and I'll disable the extrude region option. Now suppose I select this face and press E to extrude but instead of left clicking I press the right mouse button. So you might think that the face did not get extruded as I can't see it here but in reality the face is extruded but it does not have any height and to confirm this with the face selected we'll press G and then Z to move this face along the Z direction and we see that the face gets extruded. Now let's undo this by pressing Ctrl plus Z twice and suppose I want to make a stack of cubes so for this I'll press E to extrude then I'll right click to cancel it and I'll scale this down like this and I'll again press E to extrude and move it upwards like this and I can do this multiple times press E and then right click then S and extrude it again. So in this way it can be used to form a stack of cubes. Now the extrude tool has 5 modes. If you click on this tool for 2 seconds then it will display the list of the 5 modes. The first one is the normal extrude region tool which we have already used. So if I press E then it will get extruded like this. And the next one is the extrude manifold. If I drag this gizmo upwards we notice that the edges that were here will get dissolved. When we previously used the normal extrude region tool the edges did not disappear. But with this mode that is extrude manifold mode the edges will get disappeared or get dissolved. And only that's the difference between the two modes. Now the next one is the extrude along normal. And this one is used when you are extruding multiple faces together. To understand its importance let's first try to extrude two faces in the normal mode that is extrude region mode. So let's select these two faces. To select the other face together you have to press shift key along with left mouse button click. And now with both the faces selected if I extrude them then we observe that it is basically extruding in the direction which is average of normals of both the faces. But now let's select the other two faces and let's switch to the extrude along normals mode. And if I extrude it now we observe that both the faces are extruded along the individual normals. This is the difference between extrude along normals and the normal extrude region mode. In the normal extrude region mode the extrusion will take place in the direction which is average of both normals and in extrude along normals mode the extrusion will take place in the direction of the individual normals of the faces and the next one is extrude individual tool this one is really very helpful in making certain faces extend out independently from its neighboring faces basically to understand it let's select these two faces and choose the extrude individual option from here now if i try to extrude it we notice that extrusion take place in such a way as if both the faces were being extruded individually. That is both the faces got extruded along with their individual normals. And for anyone who has any confusion in these methods, I am going to summarize them for you. See the extrude region tool basically extrudes your face along the normal and if you try it with multiple faces then it will calculate the average of the normal of the faces and it will extrude it in that particular direction. The second one that is extrude manifold is used when you want to dissolve the edges while extruding. And the third one extrude along normal means to extrude at right angle to the selected face. You will be using this mainly in case of extruding multiple faces together. And the next one is the extrude individual tool in which the extrusion take place in such a way as if multiple faces were being extruded individually along their own normals. And now let's explore the last one that is extrude to cursor. So first let's delete this and add a new cube in its place. Let's go to the edit mode and select this face. Let's go to the extrude menu and select extrude to cursor. Now if I simply left click anywhere in the viewport then the selected face will be extruded to wherever I click using the mouse cursor. And now the most important thing is that in most of the cases like more than 90% of the cases you will be using the normal extrude region tool only to extrude your faces or vertices. So even if currently you can't learn all different extrude modes you do not need to worry because these things will get in your mind only when you practically make something in Blender. And our next 
chapter is going to be completely on modeling of different objects only. So we'll be using all these tools there also. And now let's come to the next tool that is inset faces. So inset faces is used to create new faces inside a selected geometry. To understand this first I'll delete this and add a new cube in its place. Now let's go to the edit mode and I'll deactivate the extrude mode and now I'll select this face. So to inset this face press I on your keyboard and move your cursor and left click to finalize. So by using this tool we basically created a smaller face on the face that we selected and it can be used to make many cool things like if I press E to extrude it and left click and now if I press I again to insert this face press E to extrude and again I to insert and I can also extrude this face inwards like if I press E and take it backwards then the face will get extruded inwards and if I want the face to be outwards then I'll press G to move it and in Y direction and it will come outwards like this. Now the next tool is the bevel tool. So this tool basically helps to make the edges look curved or rounded. Let's try this with the help of an example. So I'll switch to the edge select mode by pressing 2 and I'll select these two edges. Now to apply the bevel tool press ctrl plus b and slightly move your cursor away and now use your scroll wheel of the mouse to scroll up and this will increase the number of segments. Now left click to finalize and we observe that these edges now look much curved and rounded and so that's what the bevel tool does. And now the next thing is the vertex or the edge loop selection. So let's come out of the edit mode and delete this and I'll add a cylinder. Let's tab into the edit mode. Now I'll deselect all these edges and suppose I want to select all the edges at the top now. So one way to do this is to select one of them and then press shift and select each one individually. But this one is too much time consuming and so the shortcut to do that is to press alt and select any one of them and the entire edge loop will get selected. Now the next tool to explore is the loop cut tool. So suppose I want to add more edge loops in this cylinder. To do this I'll press ctrl plus r and now I'll move my cursor towards the cylinder. Now I can use my scroll wheel to increase the number of cuts or to decrease them and to finalize the selection I have to press left mouse button and now I can move them based on the location that I want. If I want them to be at the center then I have to press right mouse button. Similarly if I want to add one more edge loop here I'll press ctrl plus r and now I'll left click and if I drag it upwards and then left click again then this position will get finalized instead of the center one. And now the last tool is the rip region tool. For this first I'll delete this cylinder and I'll add a cube in its place. Now let's tab into the edit mode and select the vertex mode by pressing 1 on your keyboard. Now you can see that these three edges here are connected to each other with this single vertex. And to rip it apart we use the rip region tool. So to activate this tool we have to press here rip region tool. Then I'll select this vertex and I'll drag it away in a way that it rips apart. Similarly I can try it for this one also. So it basically opens up the cube by disconnecting the vertices that were joined together. And now we have explored all the basic tools in Blender. Before ending this, I want you to analyze yourself. If you understood over 60% of all the concepts explained today, then it's definitely very good. Because the remaining 40% would be cleared when we will model various objects in our next chapter. But if you feel that you couldn't even understand 60%, then I would request you to either re-watch the video and only understand what I am showing and telling you, or else you can also watch the selected part again where you feel that your confidence was a bit low and so that's all for this chapter our next chapter is gonna be chapter number eight modeling basic objects in blender so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that notification bell so that you can get timely updates about the upcoming chapters thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one